Hello guys and welcome to CSES problem set problem number two missing numbers all right so we're given a number between 1 and n except for one number is missing and our task is to find that missing number the first input contains n which is an integer and the second contains n minus one number each number is distinct and between 1 and n inclusively. We're then asked to find and output the missing number. And then we're given some constraints for n here. We're given the input and the output. The n is 5, and the n minus 1 values are 2, 3, 1, and 5. And we can clearly see that 4 is the missing value from this sequence. So how do we actually solve this problem? Well, all we need to do is keep track of all of the values less than the input, which is going to be this value. So we're going to add 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And we're also going to add this. And we just need to take the sum of adding this and subtract it from that. And we should get the output 4. I've gone ahead and created a C project. And we're going to be using this to solve the problem. So the first thing I want to do is actually just include some uh, preprocessors. I'm just going to use the iStream and just add the namespace here. Next thing I want to do is uh, let's create a tab def of uh, unsigned uh, long long. Let's call this one ul. And we can put everything in main so what we want to do is create some variables and we're going to create an, a variable to hold our uh, n and one to hold our n minus one values one to hold um, the values that so we're going to add all the values that are less than or equal to n till we get to 1, which is going to be k, and we need 1 to add the n minus 1 um, values, which we can make this s. And let's just set this to initially to 0. So the first thing we want to do is actually take in our n, and we want to set k to equal to n, because we're going to go ahead and decrement n. So we're going to say that while a minus minus n. What we need to do is take in our next uh, n number, which is going to be m. We're going to add um, m to s, and we're going to add uh, n to k. And once we have this, we just have to print out Um, k minus s and that should give us our solution all right so this is fairly easy all right so let's go ahead and uh, run this and we can um, let's debug and let's run so for initial values we're given Five is our input, and then we have uh, two, three, one, and five, and that should give us a four for the output. So we do get four for the output here. So this is working. Um, let's go ahead and let me actually save this on my desktop so that uh, I will be able to just grab it from there rather than finding this stuff through multiple folders. I'm just copy it and let me paste. All right, so we have this on the desktop now. And what I'm gonna do is, let's go to submit and let's go to browse and find that uh, missing numbers. Add that in there and let's submit. All right, so 
our solution has been accepted however you can see here in some places we're getting really large numbers and this is probably because we're synchronizing between C++ standards and the C standards so what we can do is actually take that off and see if we get some improvements here so let's go back into our uh, source code here and what we want to do is type in cin and um, tie and set this to zero so I want to set uh, c out uh, tie to zero and we want to set io um, underscore base and this is going to be uh, sync with studio and we're going to set this to false so they're all going to be false okay all right so now that we have that i'm going to go ahead and uh, save this and i'm going to go back and recopy that file and replace the one on the desktop All right, and what we're going to do is uh, resubmit for the problem. So I'm going to go back and submit, and I'm going to pick that file again. And this time, when we run it, um, you guys can see that our solutions are much improved. All right, guys, this will be it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good afternoon. Bye bye.